Well, hello again there, friend and family. So glad to have you in the country kitchen again today. And you're a little, little uh, premature. Guess you snuck in a little early. Yeah, and you can see, starting to gather up things here on the counter. For that next cooking video. And if you don't know, and you haven't been with the channel long, you might not know, this is No Shop February, where I can't go grocery shop. Not that that's a big thing. With me, because before I went on January the 30th, I hadn't been since December the 9th or the 8th. Anyway, but we're back at it again, living out of our pantry and out of our freezers. Why? To save that money, because prices of food are crazy. And we stocked up some stuff over the years, and whatever way we can, we're trying to save money. On that food bill just like I'm sure many of you can but I like to do every once in a while get your thoughts and see what you would do and that's what we're doing right now so don't be disappointed we're gonna be showing you what we're gonna do this time we didn't do that last time you know with what would you do with a box of mac and cheese yeah well now what we're gonna be doing this time is using something out of our pantry again and a few other things as you might see and what is that that would be a can of swanson chicken a la king and this particular can unlike the two behind it is made with white and dark chicken meat oh and if you can still find this this is way more better when it comes to flavor. And this brings me all the way back to my first memories of ever having chicken a la king. That'd be with my great grandmother up on the high mountain sides of Johnsonburg, Pennsylvania it would. Now, I can't remember having it often, but every once in a while she'd break out some cans of swans. You know, of course she'd just do toast we'd have it the traditional way. I'm a little bit more fancy. But yeah, this is the variety I prefer. Both white and dark chicken meat. Mostly now what you can find is the chicken a la king made with the white chicken meat. Of course, if you're a fan of breast and you don't like the thighs and drumsticks where the flavor's all at, the most juiciest part of the chicken, my mind add. Then hey, go with the white chicken meat one instead of this. And yeah, it's processed food. It's probably got a few things in it. it ain't too healthy. But I'm approaching 67. So far, I ain't got no, you know, extreme major problems. I got some problems, though. And I'm going to be putting something together with it. So here begs the question. If you went to your pantry... And you'd had this here, you know, set aside for all those emergencies, you know, like job loss, like I tell you to you need to keep food on hand in case you're in an accident and can't work no more. At least you can feed yourself or say for natural disasters, you know, anything from hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, tornadoes. Yeah, it may not hit you and wipe you all out, but you can lose your power. Lose your water. Not be able to prepare food. But you can eat this straight out of the can. Or just eat it over white bread. Hey, I've resorted to that many times. And you know, my mother used it too. You know, when she was feeling a little bit low. Didn't feel like cooking. And she could come up with some tasty ideas. To use a can of Swanson chicken. All our king. And not to mention, it was also back in the 50s and 60s on restaurant menus and diners. It was considered sort of kind of fancy. Of course, you know, it was a little bit more upscale than the Swanson variety. But you can see what some of the things I got set out here. Is my mind whirling? Yep. And I'm a thinking. 
What can I do to make this all the way more yummy and all the more better? So think about it a bit. First of all, do you keep some on hand just in case? Have you ever eaten before? Whether it's homemade. You know, I make a fine and tasty homemade version too. Oh yeah. What you can do with rotisserie chicken. You know, the leftovers that you don't know what really to do with. Or you can use your leftover baked chicken, grilled chicken. Or, like I'll often do for the kids and that, you boil up some chicken or steam it as well. It all depends on what you got, what you got time for. Yeah. So put some thought in it. This is one of them participating videos. And look at what I've got here and ask yourself, was that crazy old man, you know, the country engineer up to? What's he going to be doing with it? How's he going to make it all the more better? Is he going to eat it like it is? Over toast? Or something else? And that's another question that begs to be answered. If you have eaten it, or you've made it at home, just how do you enjoy it? You know, maybe you enjoy it on in a casserole. Yeah. Maybe you use it as a base for chicken pot pies. Think about it. Yep. Makes it easy. I'm telling you. Just throwing in some additional ingredients. Only thing you gotta do is make up your uh, crust. Dice and slice a few additional ingredients. Cook them off in. Everything gets hot. Poke tender, ready to go, fill up those pie crusts. Woo! Put on the top crust, slide it in the oven. Hey, you got you a meal. And then, you know, while it's a cooking on up, you can make you some fine cornbread. Yeah, maybe even some biscuits. I've been, been hankering for some biscuits here of late because I've been talking to a close friend of mine. Oh, uh, she tends to be up there in Pennsylvania. Yep, up northeast where I came from. And she's been really working on me to make up some biscuits. But it's hard when you're just a single little old man. And kitties don't much care for biscuits. But I love them. So maybe I'll take your advice. And make me up. Some fresh biscuits, too. But you can always do cornbread. You can do French bread. Italian. Or one of my standby favorites. Some lightly toasted sunbeam bread. But anyway, y'all, put a little thought into it. Ask yourself what you could do and what you could come up with, too, to take a simple can of Swanson Chicken a la King and make it all the more better for your family. And don't badmouth it. I know you'd be using cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup. Think about this. Instead of those, for your next chicken recipe idea. So I'm going to leave you with that. Let you ponder on the moment a while. And I'll be reading these comments. I surely will. Just to see what y'all would come up with before I show you what I come up with. So hey, until I see y'all on that next video, y'all take care. Stay safe. And may God bless you as you bust those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Oh, let me know. Don't let me down. It's not every day I ask you for your thoughts and opinions and your ideas. Not that it's going to sway me. But later in life, there'll be a lot of ideas there.
for anybody that wanders along and watches the video. And that's what counts. Our community here. Later, all.